Yeah, you know, it's really disturbing. A mother takes away her daughter's cell phone and then her child comes up with a plan to kill her mother. Back in July, East Point police were called to the 24,000 block of Roxana. They're there to investigate a home invasion and possibly in a an attempted murder. But as the investigation unraveled, something sinister was revealed about a 14-year-old girl living on this street. The minor daughter had uh, met a, another minor um, on a social media app. But the 14-year-old's time on social media was put in jeopardy. Her mother, who had no knowledge of the guy her child met on the app, decided to take away her daughter's phone as a form of punishment. Because she was having a lot of issues at home and not following the rules. So the teen and her new 17-year-old boyfriend came up with a solution. They decided together that they were going to kill mom. In the early morning hours of July 14th, the 14-year-old allegedly leaves the door to her home open so her boyfriend can enter. He went into the mom's bedroom and began to attempt to suffocate her with a body pillow that was on the bed. The mom screamed. And then he started choking her. But the woman's mother and grandmother to the 14-year-old intervened and told the 17-year-old to leave, which he did, but he left something behind. His shoes were left behind, and we believe that maybe he took those off to be quieter. A knife from the victim's house was also found in the street when the suspect fled. The mom was transported to the hospital, but will survive her injuries. And after nearly two months of investigating, police took the 14 and 17 year olds into custody. The mother of the 14 year old told police her daughter is a problem child and has a record. Both have been charged as adults by the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. The biggest evidence came from the 14 year old. From social media, from her social media account. The 17 year old facing a number of charges, including conspiracy to commit murder and the first degree. The 14 year old also facing charges, including solicitation of murder. The male received a $2.5 million bond. So I can't imagine that he's going anywhere, you know, anytime soon. And the female was given a $1 million bond. So they're both being held. The names of the teens not being released because of their ages. The investigation has shocked the police department. I don't know that we've ever seen anything on this level from this age group. And as this investigation continues, police want to make this clear. Everything you do on social media leaves a footprint. Nothing is secret. I mean, everything is able to be recovered and found when you're using social media. And although the mother survived, her blood vessels were greatly damaged because of that strangulation. Needless to say, these teens are facing a number of future court dates. Back to you. My goodness, Ingrid, so young, 14 years old, and uh, the other teen, right. 17. It is really scary to think about in this mom. Uh, do we know if the teens had any trouble in the past before that, or was it something where one possibly may have influenced the other? Yeah, definitely. We don't know about the boyfriend, but we do know that the 14-year-old, the mom considered a problem child and said that she uh, actually does have a record. Okay, salawam, salawam. Kwame Asala, Koholoi Malaya, Wabashimi Awashai, Bahashimra Kaha Kodash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Washai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And yeah, so many things we can get out of this, man. <laughs> so many things. First off, wicked ass child. And, and, and a wicked ass, um, um, you know, just wicked ass child. Well, we should say, you know, a young lady, and that's a young man. Because at the age of 14 and 17 in the ancient days, yeah, you would definitely, you know, that, that they would have been able to pretty much, I guess, get together and be together, you know, as far as the scriptures. But, you know, these day and times, you know, it's not what it used to be. And... Over a goddamn cell phone, bro. Hey, people going to lose it when, he, when when the cell phone towers go down. When the blackouts really hit and there's no cell phones and these people can't get on Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, whatever the hell they on. These people going to lose it, man. That's one thing. 
And matter of fact, they, these are the type of people that's going to be lining up in droves to take that goddamn chip to get their phone back. <laughs> They're not going to mind a, a, a phone being um, um, embedded in their asses, man. And, um, you know, she came up with the fucking plan, seemed like, but she only got a million dollar bond. But the, the, the young Jake, well, I'm not even sure. You know what? I'm not even sure if these are um, uh, uh, whatever the race may be. Because Gross Point, there's some Jake live out there. And, and and considering those particular streets, like the way that that street look, as far as like um those houses, those are probably generally um Jake. But because the, the Edomites, they live off the water, you know what I'm saying? And them big ass fucking, um, you know, the, them big, big, stupid ass cribs over there. But anyway, either way. The, uh you know, Matthew 24 and 12, you know, it's prophetic, man, that these people would be acting like this in these days and times because we're in the end days. One of the things that the Lord mentioned in Matthew chapter 24 in verse 12. Now, the disciples right here in verse three, he they ask him what would be happening in the end days or just before his coming. It says, um, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Right. So they're asking him, like, what's going to be happening? And one of the things that Yahweh uh, spoke of, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. When you look into the history of it, the, the letter J didn't even exist when the Lord walked the earth. The letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2000 years ago, of course, you know, his name can't be Jesus. But these 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 Christians that tell you it don't matter, <laughs> but they're about to see they're going to see that it matters. But this is. um. Let me highlight this real quick. Red letter. Yahweh shall speak in tw uh, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. See? And I've been bringing these scriptures out, man, on a day-to-day -day basis pretty much as of late. Because it is prophetic, man. We got to touch on these prophetic scriptures, man. And, um, and, and warn the flock. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days... Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. See? Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. They already said she was a problem child. You on Snapchat, you, you know, got you a little older, something, something going on. You know? It says unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. What kind of chick wants your, you, you gonna, you gonna have your mama killed? She the one paying that goddamn phone bill? Because we know you ain't buy it. We know you, I'm willing to bet you the 17 year old, he wouldn't even pay the phone bill for you. You'd have been on your own had you asked this nigga to pay your phone bill. Then again, he, he who knows, he probably would have robbed somebody to do it if he didn't have no damn money being as stupid as he is. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, <laughs> despisers of those that are good, traitors. Like, you a damn traitor, man. How you gonna turn on your mama for a nigga? You're going to have a nigga, you're going to leave the door open for a nigga to walk in to kill your mama. And then they, come on, bro. And then y'all giving them bond. That's why I'm kind of thinking, well, it's, it, those are high bonds. I'm, I'm sure they're not getting the hell out of there. You know, so they could be Jake's, you know, but just for something like that in general, eh, you know, uh, you know, normally Jake don't get no bonds. That's why it could be, these could be Edomites as well but it don't matter you know whatever the race may be it's the fierceness of, of the people and the way that they're acting these days man trady it says traitors heady high-minded and that's all that, that that's pretty much this whole list is pretty much going into her ass so i'm touching on a 14 year old because that's that's pretty foul man lovers of pleasures more than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away you gonna say and then doofy ass dude. Matter of fact, I got a scripture for that nigga too. Let me um, what was that? Uh, let's see here. Slakia. Yep. Yeah, first at is it first address? The yeah, first address. Let's go into the apocrypha real quick. Doofy ass dude. You leave these damn chicks alone, man. You gonna be that goddamn stupid? The hell out of here, man. You gonna but like what did you think you was gonna get out of that shit? Golly, bro. 
that, that that's why I'm kind of thinking like I'm, I'm leaning more towards these are Edomites because Jake really Jake normally not that damn stupid. That's why I'm leaning more towards Edomites, and they being charged as adults anyway. So why not show the fucking pictures of them, right? Crazy though. First address, chapter four, verse twenty six. Let me see here. Yea, yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. <laughs> many also have perished and erred, have erred and sinned for women. See? Let me highlight that too. I'm going to highlight these for next time because I know it'll pop up again. Like for real, for real. Let's read that back. Yea, many... There be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. See? He got the bulk of the fucking crime. Following him behind her little doofy ass. Come on, bro. You gon' She leaves the door open, which I, I mean, you, you ask me. She should have got the bulk of that shit, you ask me. Just for just being wicked as hell trying to have your parent killed, man. Ancient days, stoning. They probably burnt her ass at the stake or something, man. This little Jake, they'd have, they'd have, they'd have knocked his ass off too. That would have purged the evil. See, see, Esau, he be playing games with these people, man. Esau, he, it's ongoing shit with, with, with his system, his justice system. Like, they'll have these motherfuckers go back and forth to court, man, for years. Taxpayers paying a bunch of bullshit. You know. They had these going back good back and forth to jail for years. But I tell you what though, overall, if the Lord is shortening these days, like how we're praying to him to shorten these days, them two will be in jail when 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 thermonuclear fire comes. When when America is destroyed and demolished by, by, by those missiles, man. When the Lord comes, those two will be in a goddamn jail cell. Probably um um dust. From from smoldering heat, more than likely. That's crazy, bro. You you you. <laughs> it says many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. Bro, <sighs> Jake doofy as hell, bro. But anyway, look, what else can we get out of this? Um, also, if you notice, what they said is anybody can be traced on, on online. You know, like we we know that what we do as far as these scriptures, you know, as far as like going out on the highways and byways and pretty much just um down um chanting down the the the, the this place Babylon the Great Man or chanting down Esau Edom the so-called white man's kingdom. To them they, that's considered to be treason in, in their eyes. So we know eventually, you know, they they'll come through. They they can use some of this media, you know, as far as these YouTube videos and say, "See, he said this or he said that." Look, we just reading the Bible, man, and bringing out the scriptures and warning our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that they are Israelites and that they need to repent before the Lord comes to destroy this place and that you so-called white people are going into slavery for what you've done to the children of Israel. That's the Bible, man. Don't get mad with us, man. <laughs> you know, we reading the Bible, but we do understand that he's going to come down with great wrath. There's going to come a famine of the world soon at Amos 8 and 11. Because of us being online and chanting down this place. Because over in the UK right now, they're actually arresting people for, you know, posting shit on, on, on social media. They just rolling up on them. Like, yep, we've seen a post that you left on Facebook. And uh, we're going to have to take you in. Handcuffing your ass, taking your ass straight to a cell for, you know, uh, uh, saying something that they don't like. Right? So we know that that's coming to good old America. They doing that big time over in Canada, too. So it's a lot of censorship as far as like what you can say and what you can't say online. I mean, we've seen a lot of that doing COV19, you know, what they call it, disinformation or misinformation, uh, you know, and, you know, even, you know, with these YouTube channels, you know, you say certain things, you know, hey, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely strike your ass a couple of times and knock your channel off. <laughs> so that's another thing. So let, let's get another scripture. See, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right? So he's going to use that social media. Eventually, I mean, pretty much overall, mass majority of people that go to jail, generally, 
it's their social media accounts that really kind of got the the officers most of the evidence. These officers don't have to do a lot of um, research now. You know, they investigate, but generally that most of their investigation comes from um, a, a, a device. If you got one, they're going all through that bitch. They're going to scour that. I don't care. They're going back years. <laughs> I don't know if they, they got algorithms or whatever that pick up on certain words or whatever, whatever. But they going through that bitch. That's even with, um, I think it was Jay-Z and Meek Mills and all them guys was, you know, trying to, um, because they was using pretty much the words of Jake's raps to, um, you know, uh, 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 pretty much execute judgment on the asses. Like, yep, you said this in this rap, you know, and, and they're using that shit, these niggas raps as evidence, you know, against them, you know, so, so words are pretty powerful i mean you know what i'm saying you know the scripture says that um like um death and life let me see if i can find that death and life are in the power of the tongue and that's whether you typing or not let me see what's in proverbs yeah 18 proverbs 18 and 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so that, 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 you know, it was power. And basically, this 14-year-old texting this fucker and, and her, him texting her back. They probably ain't, they probably never even talked on the phone. Just through typing. That even goes a long ways. You know, you're not necessarily that it's coming out of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much they're looking at it like, you know, um, your, your, your heart or, or, or it's called lob in, um, the Hebrew, your mind not necessarily your heart that's pumping blood is you know that, that's coming out of your 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 heart your your mindset as to what you're typing and they looking at it as if you you know it's the same as if you said it you know and people can kind of look you you can read a text and kind of and kind of almost get the feeling of, of, of the um the type of attitude or the type of um energy that's behind the text a lot of the times you know even with emojis those emojis them bitches go a long ways too so you know, we, we know that this is coming along. So, Amos 8 and 11. And I will turn. Let me see. No, I'm at verse 10. Yeah, behold, the day has come, saith the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. So this is the time right now for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to get this word. Because Isaiah 33 and um, 6, it talks about how this wisdom and knowledge shall be the um, stability of our times. Let's see, uh, 33 and 6 here. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, our, of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom, this knowledge is going to be the stability of what's going to come after the famine of the world comes that goes down. Because it's not going to be, they're going to shut this shit down. This is pretty much what Esau, you know, all this misinformation and all that, man, they, they, they really trying to get rid of the Bible out of the earth anyway. So that's pretty much overall what's going down. But I just figured, you know, it was a couple of things off in that article that we could have got that first off and, and, and these young ladies gadding abroad. That's another thing. Ye women that are at ease. Let's get that real quick. You know, 14 years old and at ease. And you you so at ease that you'll have your mama murdered. God damn. Come on, bro. Um, yep, Isaiah 32 and 9. Says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. And she's a young woman. They get to talk on that 14, 17 shit, man. Those are grown-ups, basically, man. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be ye troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. See? Which means to repent. Basically, repent. Uh, 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 you know, come down off that high ass horse that you on, acting as if you every damn thing, like the Lord won't knock your ass off. Because that was judgment from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And they don't never mention no dad. 
You never hear no stories where they mention no damn dad in the in the in the in the process here. That's why also I'm kind of thinking it's some damn Jake. It's always some women. It says the the, the mama and the grandmama in there trying to wrestle this nigga down. And he pretty much gave up because he probably could have just done what he really wanted to do. You know, so the Lord actually had some mercy on him. You know? Depends on how big of a 17-year-old he was, you know? Because I can't see the grandmama coming in. It's, it's, you know, they said that, you know, they told him to leave and he just left. I guess it, he, he, he finally come to his damn senses. You see? But the spirit of vengeance was on that guy. But what happened was, overall, it, 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 it got them both out of the way. It got them both out of the way. Now, they, 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 she, and you know what? Who knows? She might be going back and forth to court talking about that's my baby. Putting some money on her damn books or whatever, whatever. You know, whatever juvenile center she's about to go to. But shh, you ask me, she's hey, hey, her ass supposed to be torched, man. You, you you doing something like that to your mom, man? You you know your your the, the woman that brought you in this world? Now the Lord is not playing that, man. There's plenty of scriptures on, um um you know, honoring your mother and your father. You know that's one of the Ten Commandments. And she'll probably tell you she a Christian. Probably got a little damn crispy little pristine gold cross on her damn neck that her mama bought over a fucking cell phone. Now you in jail where the only phone you're gonna be able to use is that big ass phone on the wall. <laughs> and you better hurry up. I don't even know what the jails are like now. I don't know what kind of phones they got now, but remember that big ass phone they used to have on the wall. You know? You making a damn collect call now. A phone that you wouldn't even know how to use. So because you're not even used to that technology. By the time you get out, it'll be um iPhone uh uh, uh 170 or <laughs> some shit you, you, iPhone 15 you know, it'll be like iPhone 215 by the time your ass get out which you're not getting out we, 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 I can't even see it the Lord is gonna torch they asses right while they in there man but you young men man hey look don't don't be don't be all crazy over these these women man you 17 bro you, he could have I mean come on bro you going that hard for it she must have been bad as shit <laughs> like what kind of shit was she saying to you you know what kind of you know what what was y'all into that you would go so far that you would uh destroy your damn life and you're not gonna even get to see her no more that's the thing they're gonna have separate court dates for y'all last day not gonna um 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 uh, prosecute you fuckers together you're not gonna see her no more so now here you go you about to go to a little juvenile center and, and you know that uh, uh that once the once you get there and, and, and the guys that's there hear about what you've done, they're going to be like, cause they, you're going to be the stupid guy in the place. No one is going to take you serious in the place. So you can't even go in there trying to be a tough guy. <laughs> you know? So hey, you, you you young man, man, be be careful, man. You know what I'm saying? With these these young ladies, man. Because it's not worth it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm a little older now. You know, I, you know, I'm, I, you know, when you get a little older, you can handle a little bit better. You know, but that don't mean that the Lord won't place a, a spirit on you to fall for a bitch like that. Because let me see here. What's that scripture? Uh, I think it's in. Um, I'm not sure if it's 25. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 25. Let's see. Um, might be up some. If so. Uh. Ooh, I can get this one. Verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. See? That young lady is wicked as hell, man. You don't want to be around. No Why would he want to be with somebody that would even ha do something like that to their mother? Like, nigga, you don't think she'll fuck you up too? Come on, bro. Verse 21. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. You got to watch yourself, man. Verse 24 it says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. <laughs> but I think it's chapter 26, what the one that I wanted. Um Yeah, 
Yeah, verse 10 is a good one. If thy um Ecclesiastes 26 and 10, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And that's pretty much the problem with a lot of these these women, young ladies, young, you know, they got too much damn liberty on, on deck. You got the liberty to the point where you got a phone, where you got a Snapchat, where you dealing with dudes on there. You know? You're not even going to bed getting ready for school. You up late at, at night probably showing off your, your box and everything to a nigga on the other side of the line. That's probably where he fell. He probably fell for her ass. Oh, here we go right here. Let me highlight this baby. 23, verse 23. Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. See? So that nigga is wicked. That's why he ended up with this wicked chick. 2.5 million on your uh, for bail. Ain't who coming up with that for you? If it was probably uh, uh, just a hundred dollars, nobody would probably come up with that shit for you because you're stupid. As that scripture says, who would pity your charmer? You know. What's that? Uh, uh matter of fact, uh, where am I at? Let's go back to first. Um, chapter twelve. Chapter twelve. And verse. 14 no 13 ecclesiastes 12 and 13 who will pity a charmer that is bitten with the serpent or any such as come not, come nigh wild beast which basically you know who's gonna pity somebody that's stupid as hell you just doing dumb shit you knew that shit was stupid like what like your your only attention was her you ain't had no friends you goddamn you weren't playing no video games no nothing your ass ain't have a summer job or, or, or something you ain't had nothing else going on. Your head was so far up in this chick's ass that you would uh, uh, attempt to kill her mama because she don't like her over her goddamn cell phone. Instead of being patient and waiting till your little shit is over with and getting your little cell phone back. You think, nigga, you'd have had a better chance of, 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 of trying to just get her a, a damn cell phone and slipping it to her or something. Here she goes. She leaving addresses out there. She done left the door cracked. Wicked as hell, bro. You can't tell me we're not living in the last days, man. This is one wicked ass place, man. With a whole smorgasbord of wicked ass monsters coming along, man. So anyway, you know, um, it's 444. Mercy, man. We all need mercy. man. We're praying for mercy in these last days because the days are evil. I end out with that. Ephesians 5 and 15. Yeah, man, you have to watch it. This is why it's so important to pray. You think mama and grandma and them knew that this bitch left the door cracked for a nigga to come through and choke her out? You got to pray, man. And you got to know who you praying to. The names are very important. Pray to the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, man. Not no damn Jehovah or no damn Jesus. When no letter J then. When no letter J when the Lord walked the earth, man. Like, matter of fact, I'm in this, this King James 1611 King James Bible right here. Ain't no letter J's in this Bible. Because there were no J's back then. I've never seen a letter J in here. Hey, you can look for a word with the letter J. Ain't no letter J's in this in this 1611, man. Now, some of these new um revised revised versions, you know, where they just got everything all perfectly um typed out. You know, you you may see a J, but I'm talking about like these these older ones. Nah, nah, you ain't. You know, you, if you if you were to go and buy the actual Bible from Borders Bookstores, you can get a 1611 King James Bible with the Apocrypha in it. That's the original um um Bible, man. King James was a so-called black man that that um made a decree to have the Bible translated, and he had the best translators in the world to translate the bible into basically english so to speak from the hebrew and from the greek and there's no letter j in, the, in in hebrew man the lord's name is not jesus the father's name is not jehovah the father's name is yahweh which means he exists with the existing one and the true name of his son is yahweh shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the paleo hebrew and you better for damn sure know them names because those are the most important things about this 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 ministry or this doctrine 
or this good news. First, you got to know the names so you'll know who you're praying to. You just out here just thinking that it don't matter who you're praying to. Oh, it don't matter. He knows my heart. He knows who I'm talking to. Like, huh? Like, huh? You, you, you want more respect than that. And somebody just talking up, you know what I'm saying? They like, uh, yeah, yeah, you. And you keep telling them, no, nah, my name is such and such, such. And they keep coming. Uh, it, it don't even matter what your name is. You come here. Or you get, you're going to be feeling some type of way. But anyway, man, repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And you should be praying for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis and a hedge of protection around you. Because things are about to get grimy, man. You got people that's out here that's thinking like these two clowns. Just imagine people that's just in Walmart. People that's just at the gas station while you're there. Or people that's just, you know, in the, the, the bank or whatever you at, wherever you are. The road rage ones. These fucking people are <laughs> crazy, man. You know how doofy you got to be? Like, come on, bro. Like, where does she think the relationship was going after she done left the door cracked for somebody to kill her mama? Well, she going to try and get some insurance money out of this shit? Like, what, what did you think was going to happen? This doofy motherfucker leave his shoes. Come on, bro. Anyway, let me end out there. You know, uh, I know it went a little bit long, but, you know, I prayed that it was edifying. Got a couple of things out of it. You know, hey, don't be running it behind these silly ass women, young men. And you and you young women as well. You know, like she, you, 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 you feel as if you got to be with a guy so bad that you had your mama killed. Come on, bro. Also, <laughs> also, you can see what the officer said about this, um, the social media and how they are running all that shit down on you. They gonna run everything down on you, so be careful about what you, you know, you putting online. You texting somebody some shit that you done, or you sending video or shooting video, you know all that, you know. And Jake don't be thinking, people don't be thinking, man. And again, I don't know if this was so called white or so called black, you know. It could be either or, considering the area, you know what I'm saying. But you know, it's sounding a little bit Jakeish to me. But then again, this might be some Edomite shit. Could be Edomite shit, man. I, I don't know if um I don't know. I you know I'm not too big on the on the on the social media like that. I'm not sure if Jake really real real big on Snapchat. I know they they kind of big on Instagram, but um I don't know. I know the area somewhat of some Edomites, you know, because they you know anyway it it don't matter. Still, you're living in very wicked and evil days, man. And and that that enchantment. It's hitting all the nations of people. It's not just Jake that's under these curses no more like that. I mean, we're still under these curses, don't get me wrong. But a lot of these other nations, man, they've drunk under that wine of Babylon and, and they're not doing well. <laughs> you nations that's, done, that, that's trying to be American, oh my, it's not it's not going to go well for you. You trying to be you need to be getting as far away from from American thinking as you possibly can. That's why we always bring out that Micah 2 and 10 as well. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. I'm um, Salaki y'all in out there. And hey, we just flowing in the spirit. Yeah, man. Fuck Esau and fuck this place, man. We chanting it down on a day-to-day -day basis. So, and we know that these things must come to pass. These are, you know, like the beginning of sorrows. We know th these things got to happen. So we're not tripping on it. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye. Let me highlight that too. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. See, these people are so damn polluted. She's so pollu that young lady is so polluted. She would have had her mama killed, man, over a cell phone. The young man is so polluted that he will actually go along with the. But why this bitch ain't killer? <laughs> Show you how much he loved you, homeboy. Why you ain't slip something in mama's uh, oatmeal? You know, why you ain't act all nice and mama? I made you a glass of fresh tea. With some goddamn whatever in that shit, man. Why you ain't do it? You doofy ass nigga, man. Come on, bro. Slock you for the language, man. But that is some nigga shit. <laughs> you so stupid that you are falling behind it. Come on, bro. You should have been like, bitches, you crazy? You should have been warning her mama. Like, hey, look, uh, my nukes. Hey, look, your daughter, she, she, you better watch her. Don't take nothing from her. Don't eat nothing that she made. Don't, hey, put that bitch out the house. Send her along with her daddy or something. You know what I'm saying? You need to, you know, whatever. 
because she's trying to murk you. Anyway, man, let me end out. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashallah and the Bible Ball.